Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class on introduction to tools that we use in a fitting shop. Myself, Eshwant Yen, Assistant Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department at ATME College of Engineering, Mysore. So, before understanding various tools that we use in a fitting shop, let's understand what is fitting work. By definition, the process of working on components with hand tools and instruments, mostly on workbenches, is generally referred as fitting work. Then what are the operations that carry out on a fitting shop? It includes chipping, filing, marking and measuring, sawing, scrapping, drilling, boring, grinding and polishing. So these all operations can be carried out by using hand tools using workbenches and hence these operations are called as fitting operations. So after understanding the basic concepts of the fitting and various fitting operations, let's enter into the main concept of our video, the tools we use in a fitting shop. Different types of tools are used in a fitting shop which can be categorized as work holding tools, marking and measuring tools, cutting tools, finishing tools and other miscellaneous tools. So let's study one by one in detail. The first tool is work holding tool. As you can see, the tool on the screen now is a bench vise. The bench vise is also called as a parallel vise and is used to clamp or hold work pieces. The body is screwed to the workbench by provide to provide secure holding. The body and jaws of the workbench vices found in the workshop are usually made out of cast iron, which is strong in compression but brittle under shock. As a result, they should not be hammered there are also steel vices available, but they are more expensive. The jaw faces of the vise are made from hardened steel. There are also serrated, which is a crisscross pattern, which provides a firmer grip on the workpiece. The jaw faces are screwed to the sliding jaw and the fixed jaw so that it can, if they damage it, they can be replaced. Moving on, the next one is the leg vise. Leg vise is used to secure the workpiece during chipping and bending operation. The fixed end of a leg vise has extended leg earthling to the ground, which transfer the forces during bending and chipping. Hence, leg vises are used in hard work. Moving on, the next one on to the right is the V black with a clamp. In V block, V grooves are provided to hold the round objects, basically cylindrical objects also can be held longitudinally. The screw of the clamps applies the holding pressure. So this concludes different types of work holding devices that we use in a fitting shop. Moving on, let's get into the different types of uh, measuring and marking tools. So the very important type of measuring and the marking tools are the calipers. A caliper is a device used to measure the distance between two opposing sides of an object. A caliper can be as simple as a compass with inward and outward facing points. The tips of the caliper are adjusted to fit across the points to be measured. The caliper is then removed and the distance read by measuring the tips with a measuring tool such as ruler. If the caliper is used to measure the outside dimensions, then they are called as outside calipers. Similarly, if it is used to measure the inside dimensions, then they are called as inside calipers. Moving on, the next one is the vernier caliper. As you can see on the screen, uh, the device is a vernier caliper. It has two external jaws and internal jaws, a locking screw, a imperial scale, a metric scale and a depth measuring blade. 
A vernier calipers is basically measured, is used for measuring the outer dimensions of a round, flat, square components and also the inner size of the holes and a bore. The narrow blade is used to measure depth of bar slats. The reading accuracy in metric system is 0.02 mm. That is, the least count of a vernier caliper is 0.02 mm. Usually, the vernier calipers are made up of stainless steel material. The next one uh, we use for uh, marking purpose is the surface plate. A surface plate is a solid flat plate used as the main horizontal reference for precision inspection, marking out and tooling setup. The surface plate is often used as the baseline for all measurements to the workpiece. Therefore, one primary surface is finished extremely flat. Surface plates are made up of either cast iron or finely ground granite stone. The next measuring instrument or also called used for marking instrument is the tri-square. The engineer's tri-square is composed of two parts the stock and the blade. They are usually made from bright mild steel with the blade being hardened and tempered so that it resists damage. A typical use of engineer's tri-square is to mark out material for cutting or shaping. It is also used for measuring the perpendicularity and the straightness of a surface. One of the important tools we use for marking is punches. Punches are used for marking purposes. There are two types of punches, dot punch and center punch. Dot punches are used for marking dotted line and center punch is used to mark the center of a hole before drilling. Punches are made up of high carbon steel or high speed steels. One end is sharpened and another end is used for hammering. For dot punch, angle of punching end is 60 degrees while the center punch angle of punching end is 90 degrees. So this completes different types of marking and measuring tools that we used in the fitting shop. Moving on into the very important category of tools, the cutting tools. The very important cutting tool we use in a fitting shop is hacksaw. As you can see on the screen, it consists of a hacksaw frame attached to a hacksaw blade a handle uh, and the teeth shapes. Axa is basically used for cutting rods, bars, pipes, flats, etc. It consists of a frame which is made from mild steel. The blade is placed inside the frame and is tightened with the help of a flange nut. The blade is made up of high carbon steel or high speed steel. The points of the teeth are bent in a zigzag fashion to cut a wide groove and prevent the body of the blade from rubbing or jamming into the socket. Moving on into the next type of cutting tools is the hammers. Hammers are classified according to their shape and weight and there are different types of hammers. A stripe pin hammer, a ball pin hammer, cross pin hammer, claw hammers and sledge hammers. The one we are seeing on the screen is the ball pin hammer. A ball pin hammer is also known as blacksmith's or machinist hammer is a type of pinning hammer used in metal working. Though the process of pinning has become rarer in metal fabrication, the ball pin hammers remains useful for many tasks such as striking punches and chisels. Moving on, the next one is the claw hammer. A claw hammer is a tool primarily used for pounding nails into or extracting nails from some other object. Generally a claw hammer is associated with woodworking but is not limited to the use with wood products. It is not suitable for heavy hammering on metal surfaces as the steel of it its head is somewhat brittle. The ball pin hammer is more suitable for such metal work. Moving on, the important type of tool that we come across in the fitting shop is the files. As you can see, uh, 
there are two different types of cutting edges uh, single cut files and double cut files the angle of the single cut with respect to the horizontal surface is up to varies from 65 to 90, 70 degrees and whereas in double cut the angle between the two cuts will be around 45 degree a file is a metal working and wood working tool used to cut fine amounts of material from a workpiece it is commonly referred to hand tool style which takes the form of hardened steel bar with a series of sharp parallel ridges called teeth files comes in a wide variety of sizes shapes cuts and tooth configuration the cross section of a file can be flat round half round triangular square and any other specialized shape so let's have a look at the different types of files that we used in a fitting shop the first one on the top is the round file it is used to file curved surfaces enlarging holes of a circular cross sections slots corners etc it may be tapered or parallel and is double or single cut circular in cross section second one is the triangular file it is used to file v grooves and sharpening woodworking saw the one in the center is of the square cross section it is the square file it is used for filing square corners square and rectangular openings splines and keyways it is square in section double cut and taper towards the point the fourth one is the half round file it is less than half round used in filing curved surfaces it is tapered and double cut the last one is the flat file it is the mostly commonly used in general work it is double cut on the file and single on sides so we have tried to cover majority of the tools that we use in a fitting shop hope this information will helps you in getting knowledge on different types of tools being used what are the materials they are made up of what are its applications so hopefully this can help you in understanding the concepts happy learning thank you